Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories today from severe weather out into deep space. You're watching ionized iron and 211 angstroms and the departing coronal holes as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star very quiet. The coronal hole stream should arrive at Earth within about a day, forecast to be moderately powerful only. Meanwhile, the bright active region, the only sunspots on the sun right now, have maintained their pure quiet as the canopy of fields in the system still has no cross fields or sub fields to contend with and is as stable as I've ever seen a sunspot. Solar wind here. And we do see a slight increase in the middle purple panel, that's plasma speed, but the minor intensification is merely keeping the KP index from dropping out all the way. We'll start with another fireball capture here. This one seen yesterday morning across a large portion of the southeast, over 500 reports from Georgia alone. We'll quickly want to mention the Iranian floods we covered earlier in the week. They are slowly receding, but the aid to the region and governmental assistance is receding much more quickly. Top hail events struck Bangladesh where cucumber and banana crops were decimated. The first of a major hurricane forecast is out for the year. They are indeed predicting a lackluster year coming in slightly below average in just about every single vector. Going out to space next. OSIRIS-REx has compiled a laser 3D view of asteroid Bennu. Almost looks cube-like tilted onto one of the corner points. Some cool information from the Helios mission as they re-examine very old data and rediscover the plasma blobs with tremendously more energy than the ambient solar wind. Good timing, too. Parker Solar Probe's second solar flyby happened yesterday and it can study those blobs on its way back out. Up next, we have a powerhouse team from Princeton, Harvard, and the University of New Mexico detailing why simple neutrinos may entirely debunk dark matter, one of the more interesting concepts, and it comes from some big names. From hypothesis to actual search and, yet again, no excess or dark matter signal in the cosmic gamma ray background. Now, to complement an alternative hypothesis and failed search, we come to observation and modeling of cold gas feeding to galaxies in the cosmic web. This cold gas is essential for galactic evolution, continued star formation, etc., and it turns out that the only way to make the model work is to tie those cold streams of gas to magnetic fields. Even while creating Kelvin-Helmholtz instabilities, those fields will also reduce the mixing of the cold gas in the much hotter circumgalactic and intergalactic medium, allowing for their survival to magnetically deliver what the galaxy needs. Today will be the last day for that celebration at otf.cells.com. Use the promo code 400k to take 25% off as a thank you for being around as we cross the 400,000 subscribers mark. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.